Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm Sean Quinn, one of the composers of the Hatch Composer Intensive, and you're about to hear my work, A Hollow Heart's Temptation, which was written during quite a turbulent time in my life, uh, a piece that is representative of a great deal of emotional uh, pain and uh, but also the processing of that pain and then the aftermath and the uh, indeed moving on period that came from that pain. Uh, the work is written for quite an unusual setup of instruments and uh, utilizes a number of weird techniques and sounds that marry together a palette of very distinctive instrumental forces uh, including uh, a prepared harp that utilizes blue tack that creates gong-like resonances, um, interacting with harmonics and um, a variety of multiphonics in the winds and the utilization of the cello is this kind of standalone instrument inside of the palette. Uh, I had an immense privilege of being picked for Hatched and had the chance to uh, bring this work to life alongside the musicians of Ensemble Offspring and I am forever grateful and I hope that you enjoy. Please enjoy this piece.
Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and the piece I've written is called Ion. Ion is named after a Hellenistic deity that represents infinity and the circularity of time. So with this piece I wanted to represent the concept that time may not be linear and instead could be perceived as a continuous cycle of events that reoccur without having actually changed. And so a similar thing happens in my piece, continuously reoccurring musical events and motifs um, without having appeared to have changed since the last time they appeared. However, um, because they carry the weight of everything that's happened in between them, your perception upon hearing the motif the second or the third time might have changed. So that's it and thanks for tuning in.
Hi, my name's Lewis Mosley, and this is my work, The Donkey and Especially the Toad. Without giving too much away, this is a piece that deals heavily with the ideas of change and transformation, in particular that of the individual. I'd like to thank Ensemble Offspring for the amazing week away and this wonderful opportunity, and I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Karidwin Makui and the piece that you're about to hear is called Arrhythmia. Um, I wrote this piece uh, after thinking about the many ways in which our heartbeats change throughout the day um, based on things that we may or may not be able to control. Things such as going for a walk or a run or meditating uh, might be ways in which we try and control our heartbeat. Um, but then there are other ways that it is affected without our, um, without our control that are more unpredictable, such as uh, seeing someone we weren't expecting to see, or uh, someone telling us something quite shocking, or listening to a piece of music that we have a strong reaction to. So yes, I was trying to sort of capture all of those unpredictable events. Um, I really hope that you enjoy, and thank you so much for listening, and thank you so much to Ensemble Offspring for playing the piece. It was really a pleasure to work with you. Thank you. 